All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to quickly pull a Facebook user's profile picture, and that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Trying to get posts from a, a person's Facebook, uh, it's going to be probably, honestly, more trouble than what it's worth from what little bit of research I've done. If the person's privacy privacy settings are set up a certain way, you're not going to be able to pull them. And um, But nonetheless, we can still get a profile picture relatively easy. As you can see here, um, I'm pulling that image there, and now if I tap this star right here, I should be able to go through some other uh, pictures. I don't know why they're not loading now. There we go. It just took a second because it has to pull them from the internet. Um, so now I have like three right now. I have this is my profile picture. Uh, Steph Curry, NBA Finals are coming up. And then, you know, we got Mark Zuckerberg. So let me show you how to add these and how to get this set up in KOWP. You may notice that the picture is not very clear. I'm going to show you how you can fix that too. Um, but honestly, you know, you might be using more of your uh, cash if you pull a bigger picture, a higher quality picture. So keep that in mind too. So let's go ahead and have a look at KOWP. And what we're going to have to do here, the, the way I'm cycling through them, I just have a list global variable. I did cycle through three of them, and as you can see, I have like three numbers in here. These are the Facebook IDs that you're going to have to get for whoever you want to see a profile picture for. Sometimes they're in the URL for the Facebook page, sometimes they're not. I'm going to show you how to retrieve that as well. As you can see, Mark Zuckerberg, his is right there. You're looking for a number, something like that, but it could be shorter. As you can see, that one is that one right there. This is my Facebook ID, and let me show you how to retrieve that real quick. So where am I getting this number from? Well, you may say, well, let's just go check out my Facebook page. But as you can see, I don't have a Facebook ID up here. So what we can do is we can copy this URL. We can go over to findmyfbid.com, paste that URL right there, press uh, find numeric ID, and then here's my Facebook ID. As you can see, that matches that right there. So how did I get Steph Curry's? Well, let me type in Steph Curry. Should be popping up right there. Now, what you can what you'll see here is that once this page loads up, sometimes it might not pull the Facebook uh, picture that we see like this one here. But notice if I type in it, let me show this to you real quick one more time. Steph Curry, and if we look at this picture right there, you see that's the one that is pulling. So um, that's the one that you saw a moment ago of him with the basketball, you know, dribbling down the court or whatever. All right, so that's now. How do we get it though? So I'm going to that page. Well, he has a number up here as well. See that one five blah 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 blah. As you can see, that's that number I have right there. Now let's add another one to this list, and let me show you how it's going to pull it. So I'm going to edit my list, and let's see. How about uh, uh, Mr. President? So let's look for Barack. If I can spell it right, Barack Obama. Um, this one right here. So it should pull that picture of him smiling that you could see real quick, and it's probably going to be that same picture right there. But as you can see, he does not have a number up here. So if we copy, and let's find another number. Let's paste that, and let's see if we can get the Facebook ID. So. Let's take this number right here, copy it. Let's go over to our list, go to the end of it, put a comma, and let's paste that in there and see if it's going to pull that picture. So I've added that new number, as you can see. Let's tap OK. Let's save it. Now, before we do that, see that question mark? Boom, we have to actually apply a uh, thing to our list global. Now let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. And now let's see, we should go Mark Zuckerberg, then me, then Steph Curry, then Barack Obama. Now it might take a minute for these things to load. There's my Facebook picture. There's Steph Curry. And as you can see, it's a little bit, it's still clear enough, I mean, in my honest opinion. But we can adjust that too. And let me tap one more time. Now it's taken a second for this one to load, but as you can see, there is Barack Obama. Now it should go through these pretty quickly. All I'm doing is just tapping on this star down here. So that's how you can pull it. Well, that's not how you can pull it necessarily. I didn't show you the address to go to. So let's go over to this image. And inside this image, here's the URL that you have to type in. So nothing, um, you don't have to go sign up for anything or whatever. Just type in this web address. And then notice we have a number right here in this web address. That's returning that list global variable that I have right there. So make sure you type that in correctly. Notice the backslashes. And we got picture and type equals large. So that is pulling a large, but we can actually pull an even bigger one. 
But that's how I'm getting that picture right there. Now, um, you know, adjusting this, it will adjust the picture, but it's still going to pull whatever uh, image size it may be. Um, well, it's, it's keeping it 300 across, I'm guessing, and then it's going to adjust that rectangle. Whereas, like, if we go over to mine, mine is a, my Facebook profile picture is a square. That's why it's pulling a square. Now, Steph Curry's, his is probably a rectangle shape, but all we could see if we went to his Facebook page would be a square around it. Well, let me show you how to get that. What we can do inside of here is we can change this and type equals large. We can say and width let's say equals 2000 and height equals 2000. Now it's gonna take a minute for these to load, but let's save this and let's go back to the home screen. And as you can see, it already adjusted Steph Curry's. It did make it a square, but this is a much clearer, crisp picture too. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let me press start. It may take a minute for these to load. There's Barack Obama. His didn't change much, but it is a clearer picture. I can tell from sitting right here. I just pressed the star, but it's probably going to take a minute for uh, Mark Zuckerberg to load up. Let me try it again. There it is. Now, see how it kind of cuts off? That's probably the square look of the Facebook profile picture. That's what I'm guessing, at least. And now I pressed it again. There's my Facebook picture. So, um, I showed you how to get the picture. I showed you the web address. Um, I showed you how to retrieve ones where you can't find the Facebook ID. I guess the only other thing left to show you is an alternative way to show the picture, and I'm sure some of you are aware of this, but if you're not, I'm going to show you um, what I'm talking about. So I'm adding a shape. I'm not adding a picture, and I, ha I have a square right now, but I tell you what, we're going to make this thing a, I'll tell you what, let's, you can make it a rectangle square. Shoot, let's make it a circle. And I'm going to make this circle nice and big. Okay, I don't want it rotating. Not yet, not right now. So there's that. I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to go to the image. I'm going to go over to this URL and I'm going to copy and paste this. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let me back out of this. Okay, it should, should have kept it. There we go. So let me just copy this. Daggone it, I did it again. Copy, there we go. And come down here to the circle. Let's go over to FX, go down to texture, select bitmap, and then check that little box right there. Go up to the calculator and paste that same code into there. Save it, go back to the home screen, and now we have a circular uh, picture. So you can apply the picture to the actual face as well. Um, let's cycle through these and see if it's going to load them up. Yep, see, same picture. But see how clear that is because we changed that width and that height to 2000. And um, I mean, these are really clear pictures, but I bet it's using up a lot of uh, memory or cache or whatever you want to call it. So if we go back in here one more time, let's look at the quality difference. I'm going to edit just the circle that I have down here. And let's go back and put and type equals large the way I had it to begin with. It's probably pulling um, the file size is not going to be as big. So and type equals large check that save it go back to the home screen and you are going to see some quality difference this is much clearer than this so that's up to you i mean this one right here it's still not bad but that is a higher resolution image up there you can tell it right here too so i hope that makes sense and that's how you can quickly pull a facebook uh, profile picture of a facebook user and that's it for this video hope it helped